Welcome back to Headliners. Let's get into it with The Mirror. And Marks and Spencer have managed to unify all political sides in unanimous hatred of their new advert, Nicholas. Quite <laughs> impressive. Marks and Spencer released new Christmas ad after pulling original uh, amid huge backlash. So Marks and Spencer did something terrible today. They apologized to the pitchfork mob. Never no. apologized. No. They only emboldened them. So we know Marks and Spencer... Uh, Christmas ads are almost an institution every year. They are much anticipated, much talked about. This time, only an excerpt, actually a picture uh, that we can see maybe here. Uh, but the, 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 the excerpt, the, yeah, that's, that's that. The, the idea behind this year's The campaign, Italian flag is outrageous. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you, you almost stole words from my mouth. Oh, sorry, Nick. No, 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 no it's, 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 it's all right. The idea is what you don't like about Christmas traditions. And some people might have said, well, it's not such a good ad anyway to start with. But as you can see, we have pictures of these paper hats being uh, set on fire because presumably the people uh, in question don't like uh, hats. Uh, paper hats, paper Christmas hats. It messes with your hair or whatever. And then... The um, woke mob went crazy because they thought, oh, these are the flags, the colors of the Palestinian flag. We have red, we have green, and we have silver. Mind you, Palestinian flag has no silver but white and has also black. And in the Islamic world, red and green are the most common colors in their flags. I mean, red is the most common flag universally, common color for the flags universally. So they thought, oh no, this was insensitive. Marks and Spencer said, you know what? This was filmed in August, way before the current war, but we still apologize for any unintentional harm yeah. caused. Yeah, I mean, it, and someone pointed out that advert, there's actually no white men in the whole ad except the elf who gets punted halfway across the town. <laughs> but um, the other thing is, people are saying this ad is very anti Christmas. There's actually a lot of hatred for the ad on X and on social media because it was an anti-Christmas ad. It was all these things I don't want to do at Christmas. And they said it's this must, not that must. People thought that was weird. Why can't I just call it Christmas? And it was all about I don't want to do all these traditional things. So people took that as an attack on the, one of our last remaining institutions, which is Christmas. I actually had a terrible feeling of I hate this advert. I know I'm supposed to hate it as well on my side, but I actually don't like doing stuff at Christmas now either because I've got to do like family stuff. I just want to selfishly stay in as well. So I felt terrible on that level. So they but, were already on the wrong footing. And yeah, yeah. These colours just. But, uh, but you're right. The, but then the Palestinian aspect was so ridiculous. Yeah. So it managed to be hated by all sides. What I said in my intro because people hated it. You know, n normal people because it was like it's it's anti-Christmas. But then kind of mad, you know, woke lefties, whatever it is, hated it because of the, this ridiculous idea they were burning the Palestine. Like, which they were. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, red and green, the colours of the Palestinian flag. Also, the colours of Christmas, which is arguably 1,400 years older than the Palestinian flag. flag. And, um, and two of the three colours of the Italian flag. Uh, or yeah, the look, Hungarian me, flag. So you're offended as well. By the Italian flag there. I, I mean... I'm furious. The one thing I would never do is ever apologise for something unintentional. Yes. Ridiculous. You are ridiculous, M&S. Sort your lives out. All right. Let's